Astronomers are super interested in Proxima Centauri, the star nearest our solar system. A Scottish astronomer, Robert Innes, found this little red dwarf back in 1915 as part of the Alpha Centauri setup with Alpha Centauri A and B too. Even though it's close, only 4.24 light years away, you can't see it without a telescope because it's not very bright. But Proxima Centauri is awesome for science, especially because it has Proxima B, a planet orbiting inside the star's livable area. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are smaller, cooler, and live way longer than stars like our sun. They don't shine as bright, which makes them hard to spot, but their livable areas are closer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, that means a planet orbits about 0.05 astronomical units away. That's peanuts compared to how far Earth is from the Sun. Being that close means Proxima B gets blasted with lots of star activity, like solar flares and radiation, making it way different from Earth. Finding Proxima B was a huge deal for studying planets outside our solar system. Astronomers saw Proxima Centauri wobble a little, caused by the pull of a planet orbiting it. This let them guess the planet's size and how long it takes to orbit. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory said, Yep, Proxima b is real. It was a big step forward in looking for possibly livable planets. Even though we've learned a lot about Proxima b from Earth, it's tough to get clear info. The air messes with the light, making it hard for telescopes to see details on the planet's surface or in its air. Most of what we know, such as its size, distance from the star, and orbit, is based on guesses. To really figure out Proxima b and if life could exist, we need better gear like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Proxima Centauri is like a doorway to understand other planet systems. Since it's our closest star system, it gives us an awesome chance to check out what's needed for life. Proxima b is super interesting, a rocky planet the size of Earth that might have water and maybe even life. But, because of its rough conditions, it's a tricky puzzle for scientists. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just another telescope. It's totally changed the game. Designed to replace the Hubble Space Telescope, JWST can do stuff Hubble couldn't. Hubble was great, but it mainly looked at visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, on the other hand, sees the universe in infrared so it can see through space dust and things we couldn't spot before. One of JWST's coolest things is its huge mirror, 6.5 meters across. That's way bigger than Hubble's. It can pick up way more light so we can see really faint things super far away. The mirror has a thin gold coating to bounce infrared light better. It's made of 18 pieces that fit together perfectly. JWST also has a five-layer sunshield that keeps its tools at a steady minus 233 degrees Celsius. Keeping things super cold helps it pick up tiny infrared signals without the telescope's heat messing things up. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST hangs out at a spot called L2, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This spot keeps it away from Earth's heat and light, so it can watch space nonstop. The telescope can study all sorts of things, from early galaxies to the air around planets like Proxima b. Seeing in infrared is key because it lets astronomers study objects whose light has stretched as the universe grew. JWST can do more than just look at stuff. It's designed to answer some pretty big questions like how galaxies started, how stars form, and if life could live on other planets. With its awesome tools, such as the Near Infrared Camera NIR Cam, the Mid Infrared Instrument MIRI, and the Near Infrared Spectrograph NIR Spec, JWST is like a time machine and a lab all in one. Proxima B is super exciting for both scientists and everyone else. Being in its star's livable area, it could have liquid water a key thing for life. It's a bit bigger than Earth, so it's probably a rocky planet like ours. And, since it's only four light years away, it's a good place to check for life outside our solar system. But Proxima B isn't exactly like Earth. One side always faces its star, so it's always daytime, while the other side is always in the dark. This makes extreme heat differences. The line between day and night might have a small area where conditions are okay for life. The problem with Proxima b is its star, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf that sends out strong solar flares. These flares blast the planet with X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, which could strip away its air. If Proxima b has air, it needs a strong magnetic field to protect it from radiation. 
Without that, the surface would be too rough for life. Despite all this, scientists still hope life could live on Proxima b. The planet's spot in the livable area suggests it could have water on the surface or underground. Life might have adapted to the harsh conditions, like creatures on Earth that live in extreme places, such as deep-sea vents or areas with a lot of radiation. These adaptations might include being able to withstand radiation, living underground, or having different biology. Looking for life on Proxima b is about more than science. It's about answering the big question. Are we alone? Proxima b is a cool possibility, a rocky, Earth-like world that might have what it needs for life. As our tech gets better, we can learn more about this planet and its secrets. Proxima b is interesting, but its star, Proxima Centauri, makes things tough. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is a smaller, cooler red dwarf that doesn't shine as bright. Its livable area is much closer, so Proxima b orbits really close, about 20 times closer than Earth to the sun. One issue is Proxima Centauri's activity, especially its strong solar flares. These flares send out a bunch of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Red dwarfs have these flares way more often and stronger than stars like our sun. For Proxima b, this means it gets hit with high-energy particles constantly, which could strip away its air over time. Without a good magnetic field, any air on Proxima b would get blown away, leaving the surface open to hard radiation. Even if Proxima b keeps some air, the radiation from Proxima Centauri could harm life. High radiation can break molecules apart, stopping complex stuff from forming. Organisms like Deinococcus radiodurans on Earth have ways to fix DNA damage from radiation. Perhaps life on Proxima b could do the same, but it would need crazy radiation resistance and maybe new biology. Interestingly, Proxima b's one-sided nature might help. While one side gets constant radiation, the dark side could be a safe spot. Underground habitats or deep caves could protect life from the worst radiation. Also, if Proxima b has underground oceans, Microbial life could thrive in a stable, radiation-free place like the vents on Earth. Despite these issues, scientists still hope Proxima b's crazy environment might show how adaptable life can be. By seeing how creatures might survive in these conditions, we can learn what it takes for a planet to be livable. Proxima b isn't just a possible home for life. It's a natural lab for testing life's limits. Its closeness to Earth and the spot in its star's livable zone makes it a good place to study. With new telescopes, scientists will keep checking Proxima b for signs of life. It won't be easy, but Proxima b gives us a peek at life beyond Earth. It shows that our quest for knowledge and the search for life on other planets is only just beginning. Studying planets like Proxima b helps us learn what it takes for life to exist. Proxima b's Earth-like size and makeup makes it a great place to study if planets outside our solar system could be livable. Scientists want to find planets similar to Earth because they're the most likely places for life to start. To check if Proxima b could have life, astronomers are using fancy tools to study the planet's air and environment. One cool way is by studying exoplanet atmospheres through transmission spectroscopy. This means watching how light passes through a planet's air when it passes in front of its star. By looking at how the light changes, scientists can spot gases like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, which often mean life is present. Finding these gases on Proxima b would strongly suggest that life could exist there. Also, scientists are thinking about the chance of life living underground on Proxima b. The idea of underground life has gotten popular with the discovery of creatures on Earth that live in harsh places, such as deep-sea vents or acidic lakes. Underground oceans or water could be stable and safe, stopping the harsh radiation and solar flares from reaching life. If Proxima b has water underground, it could mean there's microbial life that has adapted to crazy conditions just like creatures on Earth. Besides looking for life, Proxima b helps us learn about how planetary systems work. The planet's place in its star's livable area is a good chance to study how a planet and star affect each other. Solar flares from Proxima Centauri could change Proxima b's air, climate, and even its magnetic field, all of which are key for life. We're still early in studying Proxima b, but new telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope will give scientists new ways to learn about the planet. JWST's infrared tools will let us study the planet's air, surface, and possible signs of life. 
As we learn more about planets outside our solar system, Proxima b will remain a top place to look for life. In the end, studying Proxima b isn't just about discovering alien life. It's also about learning more about what makes a planet livable. Understanding the factors that help a planet support life lets us apply that to other exoplanets, growing our search for life in the universe. Exploring Proxima b is only one step on a long to learn about planets beyond our solar system. Studying Proxima b also tells us about how planets form and how star systems change. By looking at the relation of Proxima b to its star, Proxima Centauri, astronomers can understand planets that closely orbit red dwarf stars. These stars, the most in our galaxy, have special issues and chances for planets to form and survive. As new missions and tech come out in the next few years, Proxima b will continue to be a measure in looking for livable worlds. Whether life exists there or not, the info from studying Proxima b will make our understanding of the universe richer.